solar system in this video we will study about the different planets which are part of the solar system and their features the first planet mercury it is nearest to the sun and it is the smallest planet of our solar system so since it is nearest to the sun it should be the hottest planet but it has been found that though it is near the sun it is not the hottest planet the reason are different but first let's see that what is the other property of a special property of mercury is that since it is the first planet whenever we try to see the mercury it is seen against the sun and it is not very easy to see with naked eyes it is the hot planet but it does not remain hot because it does not have an atmosphere to trap the heat so its part which faces the sun is very hot and the part which is away from the sun is very cold therefore the morning time during day time it has a very high temperature of more than 500 to 600 degrees and in the evening the temperature goes in minus because the reason is of the atmosphere there is no atmosphere to cause the greenhouse effect therefore the mercury has got a varied temperature range in the day and night the next planet is venus venus is the nearest planetary neighbor of the earth and it is the brightest planet in the sky venus also appears in the eastern sky before sunset before sunrise and also at the sunset so if you see it in the morning in the eastern side then it appears as a star on the eastern side sometimes at the western sky also it is seen in the sunset so it is also called morning or the evening star a special property of venus is that it is a very bright planet it contains a huge amount of carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide produces a greenhouse effect on venus which makes it hot this carbon dioxide also helps to form a blanket around the venus which reflects the sunlight and therefore venus shines and it is called the brightest planet the next component of the solar system is our earth it is called the blue planet and all of us know that earth has water therefore it appears blue from the sky it appears as a beautiful planet from the sky and it has got life that is the only planet in the solar system which has life as far as we know the earth has got varied climate and conditions which support life on the earth the earth is said to be the only planet in the solar system as well as in the space which will have life there is still research going on in the space to see a similar earth in any part of the galaxy now what makes life possible on the earth is that the earth is at the right distance from the sun it is neither close to the sun and it is neither far away from the sun therefore the life on the earth is possible the earth has an atmosphere which protects the heat radiations it the uh, the atmosphere of the earth also uh, traps the heat of the earth therefore the earth does not become cold the earth is tilted to an axis this also helps in proper se uh, seasons on the earth these seasons help to maintain the life on the earth the earth has water there are many features the earth has gravity the earth has gravity which controls most of the features of the earth due to gravity there is water on the earth due to gravity there is atmosphere the air is not going out from the earth the earth is at the right distance from the from the sun then the earth appears to be blue when it is seen from the space and the earth is tilted at an axis therefore the parts of the earth which reach, receive the sun's radiation and the tilting of the earth's axis help to decide the weather and the and different seasons on the earth so these are some of the factors which help in maintaining here the tilt of the earth has been shown 
the equator of the earth passes through the earth and divides it into two part the plane of the equator is called the equatorial plane the plane in which the earth revolves around the sun is called the orbital plane of the earth these two planes are inclined at an angle of 23 and a half degrees which is shown in this picture the earth's orbital plane is shown in the gray shade it is the way it is moving and uh, it is moving around its own axis and the orbit in which the equator is moving is shown like this so between these two planes there is an angle of 23 and a half degrees which is shown here this bending of this tilt of the earth on the axis helps in maintaining the day and night on the earth now due to this the parts of the earth which are in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere receive unbalanced light which helps in differentiating the seasons on the earth if the earth was not tilted at an angle then there would be half day and half night in different parts in the parts of the earth so it would have been it would have been a season which would be uncertain and maybe the weather and the life conditions on the earth would have been different the next planet outside the orbit of the earth is mars mars has been a medium of study for the human beings it is said to be a nearest member of the solar system for the earth which has got close resemblance with the earth it is said that the future of the earth after billions of years will be just like mars it appears reddish and it is also called the mars appears red because it has a large amount of iron oxide or rust which makes it appear red there is still research on mars about which you must be reading in the newspaper and the media that there is there are satellites which have been sent on the mars and we will come to know more about mars in the coming time jupiter has a large number of satellites and these satellites are maximum it has faint rings around it and the satellites which are around the jupiter their number is because of the size of the jupiter jupiter can be recognized in the sky because it appears quite bright in the sky if you observe it with the help of a telescope you will see a four of its large moons around it this observation is not easy for everyone but the main point of jupiter is that it is the largest planet and it is said to have more of the gases around it the size of the jupiter is so much big that it is 300 and around 300 times bigger than the earth and around 1300 earths can be fitted inside it and it has got a huge size it has got huge craters in which we cannot imagine how many planets can be put it has got large number of dust storms because of its size it has got gravity these dust storms attract other objects which are moving near it Saturn is the next planet after Jupiter. It is a very beautiful planet because it has got rings around it. These rings are due to the particles which are moving around gaseous as well as solid particles which move around and they reflect light of the sun which falls on them. Saturn is said to be a planet which is having lighter weight than the other planets. a very interesting property of saturn is that it is less dense than water its density is less than 1 the density of water is 1 so the density of saturn is less than 1 it means since the density is less than 1 then most of the part of the saturn is gaseous it is gaseous in nature therefore if this planet saturn is put in water if we imagine it will float on the water surface because it is lighter than water Uranus and Neptune are the outermost planets of the solar system. These are seen only with the help of a large telescope because they are 
far away. Like Venus, Uranus also rotates from east to west. It is having a special peculiar, special characteristic that it rotates from east to west. Most of the other planets rotate from west to east. The most remarkable feature of Uranus is that it is highly tilted rotational axis. As a result, in its orbital motion, it appears to roll on its side. Most of the planets are tilted at an angle and they rotate at a particular angle. Either they rotate like this or they rotate like this. But this planet rotates like this it rotates in this way so the the direction of rotation is unusual and therefore it is it is said that it tends to roll when it is moving around the earth so the first four planets you studied mercury venus earth and mars they are closer so they are the inner planets and the remaining planets are called the outer planets Neptune is the outermost planet. It is much colder than the other planets. Apart from Neptune, the main other planet which has been now not considered as a planet is the Pluto. It was considered planet earlier but now it is not considered to be part of the planets. The planets which move around the sun, they move due to the gravity pull of the sun and the gravity of their own. This gravity of the sun and the planet keeps them moving around and it is believed that the solar system has already completed its half-life. In the coming half-life, which is of billions of years, the planets will keep on moving around the sun. The sun has completed its half-life. When it completes its other half-life, then the gravity of the sun will increase and the, all the planets will enter inside the sun.